All right. We should love one another, not as Cain, who was of the evil one, and he slew his brother. And for what reason did he slay him? Because his deeds were evil, and his brothers were righteous. Cain was jealous. He was jealous, and he killed his brother. Jealousy leads to everything evil. Wow. Don't be surprised, brethren, if the world hates you. I'm there. (laughs) Do you know the protesting and stuff? It's just hatred. It's hatred. It's not love. It's not love. If what I'm preaching is a cult, then I've got the wrong Bible. (laughs) This is crazy. Todd White, cult leader. (laughs) That's what the sign said out there. I saw it the other day. Wow, I'm really moving up. Can you tell me which disciple that was, folks? Which apostle lived in a million dollar mansion, gated mansion with no trespassing signs? Can you tell me which disciple lived that way, folks? You can't, because there were none. There were none, folks. Jesus said to deny yourself, to deny yourself, to become a living sacrifice. Jesus said to deny yourself and take up your cross and follow after him. He did not say indulge yourself. Live in mansions. Lavish yourself with giant diamond earrings. Travel around with other greedy men like Kenneth Copeland and Benny Hinn. Taking from the needy, taking from the sick. No, that's another Jesus, folks. You need to follow the Jesus of the Bible. The Jesus of the Bible had compassion on the sick. He had compassion on the broken. He didn't plunder them. He didn't tell them to give up their lattes and give to him. No, he didn't, folks. That's another Jesus. Yeah, the lukewarm church. Is there very many people out here? And today I've got a message that Todd is not going to give you folks. Are you ready? And this did come from the mouth of God. He's getting ready to judge this nation. He's getting ready to judge this nation, folks. For the shed blood of the innocent, the 60 million babies that have been slain, the perversion and wickedness, the idolatry where you heap up a man, you give more glory to Todd than you do to Jesus. You have many idols in your life, the Americans. Many, many idols. And God is going to judge this nation. The Bible says that judgment begins first at the house of God. That's 1 Peter chapter 4. And let me tell you something, folks. It's a very dangerous place to be. It's a very dangerous place to be in a lukewarm church with a false teacher like Todd White. You are on dangerous ground right now. You're walking on dangerous ground. And God is going to judge this nation He will bring this nation to its knees. He will humble this proud country, this proud country, this wicked country. And there will be no hope unless the Lord himself delivers you. And many of you here today, you are not ready. You are not ready for God's judgments. You need to purify yourself. You need to sanctify your vessels. You need to get the pornography out of your life, the sin out of your life. You think you, because you're here at this church, you can go home and sodomize your neighbor and fornicate with your girlfriend and watch your pornography and God is fine with you. Jesus is going to vomit you out of his mouth if you don't repent. And we're warning you today that judgment is coming to this nation. And it will begin in the so-called churches. These will be ground zero. The new ground zero for God is not going to be the Twin Towers, but it's going to be the 
rebellious churches, the lukewarm churches, the Laodicean churches. So it's time to come out, folks. It's time to come out and seek the Lord. Come out of her, my people. Lest you partake of her sins and receive her plagues. It's time to seek after the Lord, folks. With all of your heart. Some of you are just seeking after your celebrity, your entertainer. You love your entertainer more than you love Jesus. You love Todd more than you love Jesus, folks. If you love Todd more than you love being in the Word of God, you may be an idolater on your way to hell. You may be an idolater on your way to hell fire. And we care enough about you to tell you the truth here today. We care enough about you to warn you that you are following a false teacher that is on his way to hell if he doesn't repent. He's lived quite lavishly on this earth, plundering the sick and the poor, living in his mansion, living like a rock star, him and Jackie and Destiny, right? They've lived like rock stars. And if you think God is okay with this, you have another Jesus. Do you realize that? Jesus was lowly. He was humble. He was a servant to all. He didn't take from the sick, but he fed the sick. He fed the multitudes. He fed the broken. He didn't live off of them and plunder them and go back to his mansion. Folks, it's time to examine these things. You may have another Jesus. You may be following another Jesus. Do you realize that? Another Jesus. A Jesus of smoke machines. A Jesus of dirty dancing. A Jesus of rock music. A Jesus of long hair and diamond earrings. Wearing capri pants. Dancing around. Like a ninny? Is that the rebellious Jesus, folks? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Do you know where this long hair started, folks? It started in the 60s, folks. It was rooted in rebellion. But it's okay because your hero, Todd, has long hair and earrings. Yeah, he's so cool with his man tan. Dancing around in his capri pants, right? Show me where that's in the Bible. Actually, in Corinthians, I believe it's chapter 10, it says, does not even nature show you that it's a shame for a man to have long hair? I guess that's another page you can just rip out of the Bible because Todd just laughs, doesn't he? But you know